Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be discussing the 24 gigabytes of RAM um, Mac Mini variant versus the 48 gigabytes of RAM MacBook Pro. Now they're two different devices but they both have the same chip and um, you know the 12 core processor and you know other than one being a Mac Mini and one being the MacBook Pro there shouldn't be too much of a difference and I did want to test two different devices as um, we both or I guess maybe if you haven't but I've seen that the Mac Mini can kind of do things a little bit different in terms of keeping it a little bit cooler and actually being able to handle some of these tasks a little bit more efficiently so maybe that comes into play with the 24 gigabytes around versus the 48 uh, which might warrant the MacBook Pro to, to really need that extra RAM um, but with that I do want to test um, Xcode tons of Chrome tabs with Xcode you know we got Final Cut Pro with maybe Xcode open maybe you're rendering something while you're editing you know we're just going to throw everything we can at it and even some virtual machines because um, day and age maybe you know with the way Mac OS is still you're you might need to run a virtual machine for certain applications certain development work etc and we're really just going to see um, exactly what we have to do to really find a breaking point if there is one and by the end I do want to see how much battery life this is going to have on it as well as you know everything that I have opened is it really necessary and how often um, is something like all these applications going to be open um, and with that being said let's go ahead and hop into it and really start pushing these devices to their limits in terms of memory so with that let's go ahead and make sure we have all of these in see this was not on high power so let me go ahead and show you so we're going to go ahead and switch this both to high power for both on battery and on adapter put this in high power mode so we're good on that and with that being said let's go ahead and unplug our macbook all right so um let's go ahead and just get xcode um, running on both of these so we're just going to open up this test project that I had double click that both of these are set to the iPhone 16 Pro Max and we're actually going to um, make sure we open up our, our activity monitor as well as we're going to have this um, application that I use called stats it's, it's a github I'll find the link in the, and put it in the description but it's a free application for you to really see how much power you're drawing, um, the amount of RAM you're using, you know, things like that. Um, and you can just see it across your your top of your, I guess, bar, nav bar. I don't, I don't even know what they call it anymore. Um, but we're going to go ahead and put it on for both of them. MacBook Pro, we've got, um, you know, obviously 48 gigabytes. We're using, um, says we're using 11 gigabytes already. We have 48 gigabytes, sorry. We're already using 11 gigabytes. So. Uh, with that and then over here we're using 10 so about the same um you know obviously the more ram you have the more your system's actually going to use in general so um that's another thing to keep i guess in in mind boot up our iphone 16 pro max emulator as well as what our activity monitor looks like so you'll see that the um the app i mean it's still building it's about to pop it up um, you also see that we're up to 17 gigabytes of um, memory used. So that booted, and you're at, we're at 19 um, gigabytes of memory used. So let's go here to our MacBook, I mean our Mac Mini. It ran just as fast, and we're only using 15 gigabytes of RAM versus 20 on our MacBook Pro. So like I said, it's going to use a little bit more, you know, because it just because it has more available, right? So, but I do have this nifty little script that I wrote. There's something simple that will open up 30 Chrome tabs and we're going to be able to see our memory usage really rise in this aspect. So let me make this smaller so we can see it. And let's go ahead and hit run and let's really see how much our RAM uses increases as we do it. So we're at about 25 gigabytes right now. I, I think 30 Chrome tabs while you're editing is something that's insanely um, like practical. Like this is something I probably do every day easily. If not more, like I'll have multiple um, tabs or multiple windows of 20, 15, 20 tabs each. Definitely something to look at there. And we're at 30 gigabytes. 
I don't think it's going to hit that on the Mac Mini. I, not even. Well, I mean, it can't. <laughs> um, but I don't think it's going to do anything. Let's go ahead and get our emulator. Make sure it's running around still. So let's go ahead and go over here to our Mac Mini. We're at 15. Um, you're going to see the cache start to go up higher and higher. Um, we shouldn't run into any swap again. Like I said, it's really going to be efficient in the way in which it uses the the memory within the Mac. So as you see, it's not even hit 16 gigabytes yet, and you know we're operating the same. Everything still feels smooth. Um, there's no compression or no pressure, I should say, at least right now. You know, we see that little bit rising. But oh, now we hit 16, 16 and a half, and we're just going to open up our emulator. Again, get it nice and working. And we're sitting at about a smooth 17 gigabytes versus our 30. And with that, we can go ahead and start moving on to, um, maybe we wanna start editing. And the biggest thing when I'm editing is trying to remember everything I'm trying to do, right? And I want to, let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to have this playback at better performance because I mean I don't really look at the quality when I'm doing it until the final I guess the final stretch of it all in general so we're just gonna leave it at quality and let's go and look at our memory pressure real quick we're sitting at 35 almost 35 gigabytes and you'll be able to see that while I play this back it's smooth playback I don't see any issues at all I can scroll there's gonna be some errors because I'm missing some files, but there's no hiccups, anything like that. You're gonna see our memory used is at 37 gigabytes. Let's go ahead and go here. So you can still see the memory usage and we're just going to, we're just gonna click through these tabs, really get that RAM ramping up. And again, you'll see no pressure still. We're still at 35, 36, no issues there. We don't expect it to be issues. 48 gigabytes of RAM. But yeah, so we got that. Now let's go ahead and head over to our Mac mini all right so we've got this pulled up and we're playing the same video back same better quality and we're sitting at 18 and a half gigabytes that's not bad 18 gigabytes and let's go ahead and start clicking on these um chrome tabs as you're going to see still 18 gigabytes of ram it's still playing in the background and we're having no issues let's go ahead and open up 30 more chrome tabs 39 gigabytes and we're gonna do this on, on this one too. Uh, right now we're sitting at almost 20 gigabytes. It's about to hit 20, 19.9. No, no pressure yet. No pressure yet. So uh, with this next one, when we throw um, some virtual machine or a virtual machine at it, uh, we're really gonna see if it can push it to um, you know its limit. So we're just gonna leave everything running and we're gonna open up the uh, VMware Fusion. And so what I use, it's, because it's free, um, it works just as good as any other like parallels. I don't need the game on it. I'm not. I don't buy a Mac to game, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, it would be nice to have an all-in-one device, but you know, it's just not available. All right, so we have this open. So let me click on it, and um, you're going to see if this memory actually starts. Because I have eight gigabytes dedicated to it. I mean, you don't really need any more if you're just running certain tasks. Seems like we're still 35. Fans are kicking up. Um, this is where you expect your device to really start hitting the limits because it's a computer running on a computer right personally i don't see any issues i've i've never ran into any like bottlenecks because really i don't have final cut pro a uh, emulator running uh virtual machine 60 i don't have all of that running it's usually just a couple tabs virtual machine maybe a code editor i um, running a processor too um, but i don't never have an emulator open running all of these things so steam's popping up we're still at 35 gigabytes. So I mean, again guys, you're like, let me open up Chrome. We can open up Chrome and you're gonna see still nothing, nothing new is changing about the memory, right? Fans are still kicking up. It's, it's reasonable, it's a, it's a MacBook, it's gotta stay cool. Uh, the memory is kind of chug chugging a little bit, you know, it's at 92, 3%, we just dropped 2% in that little bit of time, but this is where you're gonna start seeing the real power um, needed to change, right? So with that, let's head over here and let's open up VMware and let's hope that there's no issues with it. But we're at 20 gigabytes. Um, again, remember, these machine had 8 gigabytes of dedicated memory to them and um, it was at sitting at 20. So again, we should technically be around 28. This is a new process. Well, you know, it has 8. Use it, it might not use all 8, but it's Windows 
you know, it's a RAM hog. Oh, and there we go. This is where we start seeing the pressure. So I'm going to actually Chrome open up smoothly. Um, you know, there's a little bit of pressure here. We're going to go back over here. Is it, you know, smoothly play in? Looks like it's lagging. So this is where you'd probably expect it to lag a little bit, right? Again, I, I, I very rarely have anything close to this open, right? We got Final Cut Pro, we've got our iOS emulator, right? It's at 20 gigabytes. And then we have all of our Chrome tabs, right? So even if we start clicking through these again, get them active, they seem all responsive. There's nothing like paused or anything. And I mean, we got some pressure, we got some swap, but again, like if I go to YouTube, smooth as butter. But again, we're sitting at 21 gigabytes. Personally, I I just don't see, like, like you've seen the results, guys. I don't think there's a point in really needing 48 gigabytes RAM. Like the biggest thing that uses RAM these days that people run are LLMs, or local language models like um, Olama. If you know what those are, you're in a different category of users that um, know what their machines need if you're running running those models um, locally, right? Um, but this video, again, it's kind of like more the everyday user, someone that might be a more advanced user, someone like myself that, you know, uses most machines, that does editing, does it a little bit all. Um, but 24 gigabytes of RAM is plenty. Looks like to be, at least it looks like to be plenty, right? I've even, you know, I've been using the devices for a month and a half almost, if not a little longer, a little less. I will say that I've never had any issues with any of them. Some of them may be faster or smaller. Um, and again, this one was never pushed to its max. It only hit like 35, 36 or 38, I think was the max. Um, and this one never went above 21, 21 and a half. It never hit 22, right? So um, take that with what you will. Hopefully this video provided you with some guidance on some, you know, these hol this holiday season to really help you purchase the right device for you personally. I think I'm gonna save it for another video. I got, I'm gonna make another video um, really testing what device should you buy, what users should be tailored to a certain devices. But Apple's done a great job this year, especially, you know, starting at 24 gigabytes of RAM on the M4 Pro. And you can't go wrong with it. Again, like you've seen, never hit no bottom like no lagging i didn't even see much lagging like you've seen like maybe a skip or two in final cut pro um, for it to really catch up maybe downscale the resolution for the better performance uh but again with that hopefully you enjoy to provide you with some insight um hopefully you make an able to great make a great purchase this holiday season um and with that uh hopefully happy holidays leave a like if you like the video uh comment if you're you know maybe i skipped something you maybe need some clarity on something and um, again, happy holidays, hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one.